Hey everybody, it's Nate with Sauce Ain't the Boss here again, and today is day number 29 of me quitting drinking alcohol. Today I wanted to talk about procrastination and making excuses when it comes to quitting drinking. For me, I wanted to stop drinking when I was in my mid to late 20s. At that time in my life, I had my two boys that were born, and I wanted to be the best father that I could be. And at that time in my life, that's when I started to notice that uh, I was drinking every single night and that I was starting to become out of control with my drinking. Um, it was something I felt compelled to do every day. And I knew that, you know, being the best father and, and the husband and just all around best person um, wasn't going to happen if I kept drinking alcohol. But I kept making excuses. I kept procrastinating. And so here I am now at 43 and finally ripping the proverbial band-aid off and just doing it. And um, I wish I had back then. I mean, imagine, I imagine what my life would have been like and all the opportunities with my family I missed out on because I was drinking, um, all the dumb decisions I made because I was drinking. You know, all those things could have been avoided had I ripped the band-aid off back then, so to speak. And so um, I encourage you guys, you know, if you're thinking about quitting or you're already on the path, no matter if you're, you know, a few days in, a few months, a few years, um, just keep, keep on keeping on and stay on that path because, um, you know, uh, alcohol does nothing good for you. Um, obviously, if you, you're watching this video, it's because you've probably already figured that out. And um, the sooner that you get away from alcohol and the longer that you distance yourself from it, the easier and easier it gets. And for me in this, I'll be 30 days tomorrow and uh, I'll be doing a video tomorrow about all the great things from you know day one to day 30, where I was and where I am now. Um, talk about that tomorrow. But um, you know, in, in those 30, well, 29 days today, but uh, I've learned to control my mind more. Now your mind can be either your uh, worst enemy or your greatest ally when it comes to quitting drinking. And you have to learn to control that mind to be on your side. Uh, as I've said before, you can't control the thoughts that pop in, but you can control what you do with those thoughts, which ones you allow to fester and which ones you just boot out, you know? And so um, I have really been focusing on that for the last 29 days. And um, I've gotten better and better and better at it. And if you make it a priority in this process of really watching your mind, watching the thoughts, and it's almost like, you know, there's another part of you, whether it's your spirit or, or soul or um, whatever you want to call it. But um, for me, I can almost like watch from a distance, you know, this, this going on up here in my head and my brain, you know, and... Um, it's the other part of you that allows you to control that brain, you know, at least that's what I believe. And so uh, it's kind of interesting how during this process, I've been able to do that more and more and more. And now when cravings come along or, or stuff like that, it, it's just become easier and easier and easier just to be like, no, nah, and I get up and go do something. Or sometimes I'll just sit there and feel it and see it for what it is and let it pass and just feel a little bit. That helps out a lot with, with uh, depending on, um, you know, what the craving is and how bad it is, uh, or like I say, getting up and doing something. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, the, the sooner you make the decision to quit drinking and you quit making excuses and quit procrastinating uh, and you start, you know, uh, really getting in after it, you'll start to realize that you can um, really make it easier than you think it probably is, you know, um, you know, we all have in our head how difficult it is to quit drinking. And I'm not going to lie, I've had some days that are more difficult than others, but that's all how much I decide to let my mind kind of start, you know, drifting on me before I bring it back to where it needs to be, you know. So, um, you know, whatever excuses you have to continue on drinking, whether it's, oh, I need it in my life because it helps me deal with stress or, uh, helps me sleep or, um, you know, you're, you're drowning out a problem or something bad that happened in your life. I mean, I get it. I've been there for, for, for these things. Um, but at the end, I can tell you right now, they didn't make any, anything better. All it did was just numb it. And then at some point 
you're going to have to deal with all these things and they're all going to have to come up at one point or another and you're going to just have to feel and deal with them you know so shoving all that stuff down with alcohol is just putting a band-aid on the problem you know and uh ripping that band-aid off is what's really truly going to help you heal and deal with some of the things that you're um, using alcohol to cope with and that kind of thing. So um, I, and, and I'm just saying this from my own experience. I, you know, I used alcohol to, to, for a whole host of reasons, stress, anxiety, um, you know, uh, sadness, remorse, regret, uh, you name it, you know, that's why I drank. And they were all excuses. Um, it was just because I didn't want to face those things without my numbing crutch, you know. And um, I can tell you now, I'm so much more calm, uh, more relaxed. And as, as things happen, whether they're good or bad, you know, you don't get over emotional. You just uh, learn to just flow. And it feels so good to go through life that way. Um, so, you know, uh, as far as procrastination goes, um, one day or day one, you decide. And uh, the sooner you make the leap, I really think the better your life's going to get and be. And uh, the more of that better life you're going to get. Um, again, uh, if I hadn't procrastinated and quit making excuses, uh, I would have not drank for the last 15 years, you know. And um, how much better off or how much money would I save? How much more time and, and uh, you know, care would I have given my family and, and uh how much more money would I, would I have made? I would have been more productive. How much more health would I have? I wouldn't have had any of the health problems I've had that were caused by my drinking. Uh, I wouldn't be as fat as I am, you know? I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So, um, you know, no one's going to make you quit drinking, though, other than you. Um, again, I, I've talked about how, you know, sometimes my kids were in tears or, and my wife's begging me or whatever it is. And um, it's really kind of a sad deal that, you know, but that's the reality is that you're not going to stop unless you're ready to. And, um, but, you know, prepare yourself for it. You know, uh, ask yourself, you know, what is it that you're waiting for? You know, do some deep dive soul searching and ask yourself when and, and why and, and uh, where are you going with your life? You know, and um, that's what I had to do. And like I say, a lot of it's surrendering your ego and your pride too, and just, you know, uh, getting to a place where you're surrendering to what you know you need to do in your heart. And um, that's putting down the alcohol and being the best possible version of yourself that you can be. And so um, just think about it. You know, if you're making excuses or procrastinating, I'm only saying this because I did the same thing for, you know, 15, 20 years. <laughs> And uh, I know exactly what it's all about. So um, anyway, guys, that's the topic for today. Um, again, tomorrow will be 30 days. And I uh, can't wait to tell you guys about all the good things that have happened in that 30 days. So uh, remember, sauce ain't the boss. You are. You guys have a great day. Mm -hmm.